Aquarius. It is your girl spirit. Sag. New year, new you, right? Let's see. Spirit. New year, new you. What's going on for my Aquarius? Collective. What's going on for the Aquarius? Ooh, reconciliation. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Well, ain't that by the bitch? Huh? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's get some kippers. Reconciliation. Courthouse. Okay. Courthouse with what spirit? Journey and privileged lady. All right. So, bottom of the deck, official person. That's divine masculine. So, Aquarius. Mm, five of cups. I'm sick of the damn regret. You know what? I'm sick of it. If you was gonna regret something, then what the fuck you do it for? Somebody could be stuck in something. Let's see. Ooh, Will Fortune here. So the courthouse is someone making a final decision. They could be moving away from the privileged lady or moving toward the privileged lady. But somebody is definitely moving and spirits is this the damn truth. Okay, just period. The chariot is all about move, moving from the past, leaving shit in the past. This person could be ready to stand in their truth. Ace of Swords with the Seven of Wands. They're ready to get on the right path with the Wheel of Fortune here and the journey. Okay, so let's see, Spirit. Mm, whoa, whoa. All right, so this was a marriage because we got. So they're moving away from the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys be dealing with a Cancer Capricorn, um, but it was toxic. This was a karmic cycle for this person, and they're moving away from this. They're ready to get on their spiritual path here, having a brand new beginning. It's been a long time coming here, but uh, reconciliation is here. Um, for some of you, this is someone who's been out of your life for a long time. Okay? Hell, this could be you. Finally standing up for what it is that you want. Mm. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles here with the Tower. Tower with the Three of Pentacles. That's the end of a marriage. And this is exactly what we see at the top. Someone's choosing this year. Like I said, new year, new you. This person is choosing who they're going to give their energy to. They're not going to let some fucking contract make them give their energy out when they know that this person's low vibrational and toxic. So they're going to be holding back from what no longer serves them. They standing up for what it is that they want. So either Aquarius, either this is you or this is someone who is planning to come towards you for a reconciliation here. I'm telling you, somebody getting the fuck on. Okay. Now, they could be going to a Queen of Wands to have a new beginning. Someone they're very, someone who's very spiritual, someone that they're very attracted to, someone who's confident, very powerful. Hmm. What else, Spirit? What's that? Oof. Ten of Swords. There's a 10 on this journey. This is the end for whoever this privileged lady is. That's it. Okay. Somebody wants to be happy. When they look into the future, they don't see commitment with this privileged lady. I'm telling you, somebody is standing up for themselves and it's going to come to a shock to those around this person because they, maybe they were used to pleasing people. This emperor here could have been used to pleasing folk. They're not doing it. They're going after what they're passionate about. And they could care less what people got to say. 
this emperor could have been that type of person who only cared about their image, did what looked good, but look at what looks good. King and Queen of Pentacles, but it was the devil. Very low vibrational confirmation. Very low vibrational, very toxic. Someone's taking control of their life in positive ways here with the sun, okay? With the higher friend, someone's learned a, a spiritual lesson. Let me grab a different deck. Um, messages of love, oracle cards. We're going to look at it. Yeah, look at that shit. Somebody's secretly yearning for you. Why you got to be secretive about your energy? It's time for people to stand on your nuts. What is it that you want? This is exactly what somebody do when they're standing up. They've been longing for this queen of wands right here. Okay? This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Ooh. So, for some of you, this person could be walking right out of one marriage to the next. Uh, and now, for somebody here, this rejection is actually divine protection. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. A recommitment to love is developing. Because that's what I see with the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups. You know, this person could have friend zoned you. Mm hmm And now maybe this person ain't even married at all. Okay? Maybe they're not married at all. And that's what the card is saying. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. They could have friends on you, but now this person, they could, maybe they see you on their level. King and Queen of Pentacles, someone that they could commit to. Maybe this person was low vibrational and toxic in your energy and only friend zoned you, but now they want to work with you with the Three of Pentacles. But Spirit says, so if this person rejected you, that was actually divine protection because this King of Pentacles was in this um low vibrational energy now for some of you this king of pentacles was married and that's why they rejected you for others of you if they were just too toxic okay all right so let's see spirit apology you can expect the apology that you want to hear this person hurt you um it feels like it was a third party here three of cups three of pentacles Spirit. Yep, I was just going to say a lot of twins are realizing that they have been married to the wrong motherfuckers. Okay? Just period. And look what fell out. Fate. This is a destined partnership. You know, a lot of people going to be in my comments. Oh, you telling this, you saying it's okay for people to walk away from their marriages? Listen. Okay? Y'all thinking with that simple minded bullshit. If somebody married a fucking Carmen, absolutely. It's okay to walk away from what no longer serves you. It's time to stand in your truth and authenticity. Okay? And so in the here and now, that's exactly what somebody's doing. Because your true love is already a part of your life. But see, this person may have rejected you. Okay? They're tired of rejecting you. They're going to do what is right. Now, some of y'all, they may have tried to have you as a little third party in this marriage. Yeah, for some of y'all, because they definitely attracted to your ass. Queen of Wands, woo wee. But it's like they want to have their money. Yeah, they was on different pages with you. They was concerned about their image, official person. This emperor was concerned about what looked good. But you were really home to this person. You were really home to this person. They had to go through some things. I feel like this, this person had to have a period of, of you not being in this person's energy at all. Like they can't see you. They can't talk to you. You can't smell you. can't nothing. Okay? So that they can be authentic. Okay? So Spirit is saying, go slow. Take your time to get to know each other. Because whatever this emperor is doing is very different than what they've ever done before. I'm telling you, it's going to shock a lot of people around this emperor to see them walking away from... For some of them, this is a, a marriage with a lot of money involved. Somebody could be walking away from money, going after love, okay? Or, yep, second chance here. This relationship deserves a second chance. This person's going to be coming towards you being what they never was. Because, see, all they had with you was this right here. Passion and chemistry. 
because you're showing up Queen of Wands. But Spirit is letting this person know, like, bruh, this relationship can, can stand the test of time. You can be completely open with this person. Why? Because this is a destined partnership. But see, they had to go through this period of not having you in their energy at all. And I feel like this is something that your spirit guides may have done. Made you completely retreat your energy. Confirmation. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Strictly sexual. They friend zoned you. They only looked at it for the chemistry and the passion. And the Queen of Wands get that shit a lot. Because she's so, he or she is so attractive, people only look at it like that right there. But this is actually the one. I have no doubt that this damn Queen of Wands is the Empress. Spirit said this, it was destined. So, a lot of people this year are standing in their authenticity. A lot of changes have been made, like over the summer months, with the sun out here. Um... This tower already took place. And see, this person had to go in solitude with that retreat. We saw a retreat different in two different decks. We saw it in this deck and in this deck. So they've been in hermit mode and they're realizing they deserve love. Okay? Because that, that they was in, that was for the looks of it. There wasn't no love there. And, you know, the, the longer that you are by yourself, and you're not listening to people talk about how things should be and this, that, and the third. And you can actually listen to your own emotions, your own intuition. A lot of these people starting to realize that this strictly sexual connection that they had with you was the real deal. And that's why this relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Ooh, well, spirit... Support. Lean on your inner circle during during this time. Obstacles. Okay. Unavailable. Abundance. This person, why they have been in this retreat energy? They ain't never the hermit call. Why they've been in solitude. Um, they ain't had no circle to lean on. Because everybody was real traditional, just like this person. People telling this person to stay in this thing because of the looks. You know, family could have been benefiting off of this money. Um, people had their own motives for telling people to stay un in unhealthy relationships because clearly it was toxic. Okay, so this person had to do a lot of healing. Uh, unhealed wounds is blocking this person's forward movements. So for a while, this person's been unavailable. And I'm telling y'all, for somebody here, ever since the summer, this person been going through some shit. But what did I say with the hierophant? This person has learned a spiritual lesson. So you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Mm -hmm. This person deserves love and they deserve you. Hell, you deserve love. You deserve more than what the fuck? Just strictly sexual, bro. What? All this person had was the spirit guide. Okay, that was this person's inner circle. What's this? Yeah. So they had to make a decision here. When they really got to feeling their feelings and what it is that they want, they had to make a decision. So, well, spirit. Yeah, because see, a lot of these folks was in denial about what this was with you, keeping it strictly sexual. Um, addiction is affecting your relationship. And I feel like the addictions is for some of you, this person people pleasing or doing what everybody else wanted them to do or doing what they thought was right for everybody else but not doing what's right for self. Worrying about what folk gonna say. Hell no. Nah. Okay, yeah. Children could have been a factor. I've been speaking on that a lot lately. How can you parent? How can you be the best parent that you can be when you're in a marriage that's low vibrational and toxic? Okay? Um, I feel like children deserve to have happy, healthy parents. And if that means we have to get this damn divorce to be that, then so be it. And so that's what's going on here. Somebody is stepping the fuck up, taking control of their life, okay? Okay? 
Now, Aquarius, I don't know where you fit in at, but mm -hmm. external party is intruding on the relationship. For some of y'all, this person has tried to come towards you a couple times before. Yeah. They tried to come to you a few times, but this person was on this note. They was on this note with it. And they was trying to keep their little marriage and just have you on the side as this beautiful queen of one. Feel like hell now, bruh. That queen of ones deserve love because that relationship, okay, can stand the test of time. There's real love there. And before you get to fuck with that queen of ones again, you got to completely be independent. A lot of y'all had they had a uh, family. The addiction here is this person's belief. Whoever they were listening to or look up to is someone who has an outdated belief confirmation. This person has a and it could hell this official person could be somebody's daddy. Could have been that King of Pentacles daddy or something like that. That was telling them some bullshit. But see, your person's having boundaries now. That's their seven of wands. I'm going to do what I want to do. For some of you, <coughs> this person always felt this for you. But remember we saw that eight of swords at the beginning? They felt like they couldn't get up out of this. Yeah, because they worried about what people were going to say if they was to stand up. So they tried to have you on the side. And juggle this marriage as well. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You, got to, you got to be on your shit. Have some firm boundaries with these people. I don't give a fuck who it is in your life. Okay? So there's been... What did I say with the Knight of Pentacles? It's been a long time coming. Here. Because something happened where you completely removed your energy. So now this person was stuck with what's this toxic ass marriage and being miserable. So it's like, bro, what are you going to do? It's time for you to make a decision. It was hard. I did a reading like this about a year ago. I think it was Virgo's reading. It was the hardest decision that this person ever had to make. <clears throat> was to walk away from a marriage where the only reason they were staying was for the kids. They practically hated the person that they was married to. But they, they had some type of belief around, I think in that reading, Virgo grew up in a single parent home and he did not want the same, he or she didn't want the same for their children. You know, but it was a hard decision. Yeah, it was really hard for this person to do it. Okay. So, but this is even harder because this is a twin flame. But the cards say it. This is a destined partnership. So it was really fucking with, with I was going to say with Virgo. Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo. It was really messing with this person on a soul level. Okay, some of y'all dealing with a Cancer, a Leo, a Capricorn. Uh, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this year, somebody is standing up for what they want. They want this past life love right here, just period. It's calling on a soul level. This person has never felt that before. In all them years of being in this relationship or being in this marriage, they've never felt what they feel on a soul level for you. So they can't deny it no more. What else, here? Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords. This Emperor is being guided to move away from this family dynamic. It's just materialism anyway. Page of Cups in the reverse. Like they couldn't stand each other. People was just staying for the for the money, for the support, or something like that. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. What else we have? <clears throat> Strength. Standing in their power. Wishing a bitch would. After some regret. Well, I feel like Spirit gave this person a few opportunities to do the right thing with the two of ones. And it's all about choices. And they continue to choose to miss this opportunity. This is something. 
if I had the other deck, I know that card would come out. You don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. This person was broken hearted when they made those decisions to stay stuck and stagnant and stay in situations that they weren't, their heart wasn't there. Okay? Yeah, for the stability. They're not doing that no more. Yep, two of swords. They ain't doing that no more. This person that healed from the bullshit. Because that's who they want. Can't make it up. I knew that's who that queen of wands was. And spirit is guiding this person to go get that empress. Hello. Now, they done been through it. And they done had a hard-ass choice to make. Because for a lot of you, the emperor is the first in their family to break this generational curse. Cycle. Whatever it was. Could have been 10 motherfuckers in, ahead of him who married for money. That could have been in the thing. Somebody is married for love. And they know, I'm telling y'all, somebody leaving one marriage because they already know what they want. They've been knowing what they wanted with you. But this was important. And this person had a child there. But the spirit says this relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Okay. Spirit is guiding this person to come up out of this regret right here. Take action. Bring in justice in their life. Realize you are the magician. It's time for you to stand up on what it is that you want. Okay. There you go, Aquarius. All right. That's what I have for the Aquarius collecting. <clears throat> shit baby every time I do Aquarius reading that's what I get somebody stepping in the Aquarius North Node Aquarius North Node okay so now if you the person is getting left and when it fell out it went like that somebody gonna go through it they was completely codependent on this uh emperor, but this emperor won his empress. So it, it, you best start um applying for some jobs and trying to heal. Because you gotta think about it, you know, you can't keep being selfish. Stand in this for all of these superficial <clears throat> reasons is keeping two people from their destined path. And Will of Fortune is here. Another faith card is here because something was destined. Something was written in the stars. So instead of trying to fight back or, you know, be upset about it, now it's time. I'm talking to the person who's getting left. Now it's time to heal and get on your path and find the person that's right for you. You don't want to keep racking up karma. Or walk around in regret. You don't want to die in regret. I don't, don't nobody want that shit. I would hope. And don't nobody want to suffer. People was not put here to suffer. The motherfuckers been staying in these marriages for all of the reasons in the world except for love. And you know, before now, before the new age of Aquarius, that has been able to ride out. Not no more. People have to stand in their truth and authenticity. All of these readings that I've been doing lately, the Ace of Swords keeps popping up. But that's what they're being invited to do. Drop the mask. And then it's been a long time coming. Especially with these stubborn ass signs. Ooh, child. It's been hard. Okay? There's a lot of motherfuckers finding themselves in the courthouse. Being authentic with themselves. Okay, so that's what I have for the Aquarius Collective. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. Only take what resonates, leave the rest of it. Till next time, bye.